So you, you, you touched on it earlier, Zach, um, that you said that your dad knew one of the wrestling coaches. Um, can you talk about the impact of your high school coaches, what they've, the impact they've had on your life, um, you know, the impact they had while you were in high school and, and since? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so uh, I had two high school coaches, which is Coach LaPointe and Coach Miller. And both of those guys, I mean, just for them to, you know, have me, you know, into, you know, have me onto the team and work with me and help me, you know, basically adapt to, you know, the maneuvers and the moves I had to do and just try to figure out what worked best for me. Because as your, as your average wrestler, you know, you have the double leg takedown. Okay. That's going to be that it's going to be a move that works for people that have both hands and feet. But for me, they had to work with something different because of the differences between the two. And so both of them just helped me just have the mentality that, hey, you know, whatever you go through in life, you're just going to have to adapt to it. That's not you're doing anything different than the next person. And you're going to do it the same way, but you have to do it just slightly a little bit different in how you get it done. But either way, the job got done, and I mean, it gets done with whatever I, you know, I try to set my mind to. I just have to, like, figure out just ways how to do it. But it definitely helps with everything that I've been doing up to, you know, up to where I'm now in life. Yeah. So <clears throat> that, that I guess your answer kind of segues into this next question. So obviously, you are born without hands and feet. Um, yes, sir. And, and in order to, uh, you know, in order to, thrive in life you've had to be tough and resilient and resourceful did you find that wrestling revealed a whole nother level of toughness and grit that you never knew that you had absolutely uh 100 because you know with with the wrestling and football and, and so i'm gonna kind of not compare the two because they're two both of them are completely different but with on the wrestling mat it was basically all on you and in order for you to succeed in the sport, you had to put in the hours away from, you know, the, you know, away from the, the, the light and into the dark. You had to wake up early in the morning. And, you know, when you're just wanting to pop tart and go to school, you have to, you know, have to humble yourself and really, um, you know, motivate yourself to say, hey, now I'm going to have some eggs. I have some oatmeal, you know, something that is healthy for you. And so just having that mentality as, as, you know, wanting to make sure that you're on track with whatever you're doing and make sure you can do it well with nutrition, with extra workouts, with, um, you know, just waking up in the early and, and just getting your, yourself situated to do a handle of the day because you had to go to practice. You know, all those things came to one thing, which was just the motivation and the desire to want to you know succeed and so with those with those things I did for wrestling um it definitely helped in the outside world as well with what I'm doing and um I'm very blessed and fortunate to just be able to have a sport that uh that taught me many um that taught me many life lessons that will carry on uh through the rest of my life 